L'Oreal has a new primer that I really wanted to try so I bought it a few days ago and I decided let's do a full face of L'Oreal makeup today. I'm also gonna be testing this new highlighter to me. This is the only powder highlighter that they have and the only shade by the way. Yeah, that was weird. I have some cream eyeshadows that I never tried before. Also, one of them is matte. I'm a little bit scared about this one. I'm gonna be using also some of my favorites that I have tried again by L'Oreal. L'Oreal is one of the more expensive brands at the drugstore. I'm hoping that all of the products are gonna work for me today. Get the band on. This is the first time that I did wavy hair with my new haircut and I feel that I did something wrong. Okay. <laughs> on my lips now I have this lip gloss by L'Oreal and it is in the shade I Amplify 406. I don't have the name of the product on the packaging so I'm going to have it here and I'm going to add just a tiny bit more. Yeah, it gives a beautiful glossy finish. Also it is a little bit tingling and it makes my lips fuller. And the new primer that they have is the Prime Lab 24 hour pore minimizer. This one contains 1% AHA, LHA and BHA and this one can blur your pores and also resurface skin over time. I bought it because it says it can blur pores and my pores here are more enlarged. Yeah so let's see the consistency of this one. I like that we have a squeezable tube. It has a thicker consistency. It is silicone and oh my god I think it it blurred a little bit the back of my hand. Okay it's time to use it on the face and I'm just pressing it on my cheeks and I'm super curious now <laughs> let's see it is definitely mattifying it can blur them a little bit I'm going to take some more and I'm going to add it just on half of my face to do some close-ups and see if it can actually blur the skin it has a very light scent it reminds me of perfume let's zoom you in yeah it can definitely blur my cheeks i'm so excited it can smooth also the fine lines okay let's go to the other side now it gives a soft matte finish also it's not tightening and by the way i have dry skin i didn't mention it i'm going to add some on the neck because I'm going to add the BB cream, the BB cover. Oh my god, I'm so curious. Let's see this side. Ooh, yes. It is definitely blurring and pore filling. I'm so, so happy. I'm going to add just a tiny bit more for testing purposes on the cheeks. Okay, it is also buildable. I'm loving it. On top of it, I'm gonna add the Age Perfect BB Cover. This one is a hydrating serum foundation with SPF 50 and I have it in the shade Light Ivory 01. This BB Cover, BB Cream has a liquid formula. I have done a whole video about it if you want to see more close-ups. Also a wear test. This is the thumbnail and I'm gonna have a link in the description box. And now I'm taking a beauty sponge. It is wet. And let's see the magic happening <laughs> my pores are not so noticeable as they always are oh oh i can see something here no so for some reason it creates a paste on the forehead okay you need to see that zoom in you can see here it started drying out yeah also between my brows. Maybe I have applied more primer here. However, on my cheeks that I added more product intentionally. It's not cakey. Ah, okay. Now I can blend it. Maybe I didn't blend very well the primer here. I'm gonna try with the clean brush, the clean side of the sponge to blend some more. I really want this primer to work today. Oh no, it is also cakey here. What is happening? Maybe the BB cover and the primer need to be pressed together more. Okay, now it looks fine again. Let's hope it doesn't get cakey later. For concealer, I have two options today. This one is the Infallible More Than Concealer and I have it in the shade 327 Cashmere. The other one is the Perfect Match or too much because it says both names on the packaging and this is a concealer in the shade 3 neutral 
creamy beige so I have never tried this one the packaging is very similar to the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer so I want to use them side by side to see the differences I'm gonna start off with the Infallible Concealer this one has a huge doe foot applicator it has a thicker consistency so you need to be aware to not use too much product I'm also gonna add some on my face to see if I can blend it with the other face products I'm blending with the same sponge okay, as far as I can see it blends nicely this concealer gives a fuller coverage I just need a tiny bit more in the inner part that I have a vein that is very vibrant it depends on how I have slept the night before I slept fine but it is the end of the week and I feel exhausted and this is a blendable concealer it's not fast absorbing on the other side I'm gonna use the perfect match or too much concealer and this one has a different doe food applicator it is like a thin spatula I really want to show you the difference <laughs> Also, the True Match Concealer has a very tight stopper. I'm going to use it exactly on the same areas like the previous concealer. This is more my shade. The Infallible is very yellowish. And I'm also adding some on the skin because I want to see how it reacts with the BB cover and the primer. It is so hard to get it in. Now I'm taking a different sponge. It blends super easily. The consistency is lighter than the infallible. I definitely need more in the inner part. I'm blending again. It has light to medium coverage. It doesn't cover the inner part. I have applied three times in this area. You definitely need color correction if you want to try this concealer. If you want to cover completely everything, go with the infallible, but make sure to blend it very well because it has a thicker consistency. The True Match Concealer gives a glowy finish and the infallible a semi-matte. I'm a little bit sad that it didn't cover the discoloration. I really wanted this to be my new favorite concealer. To set everything, I'm gonna be using the Catrice True Skin Skin mineral loose powder in transparent matte because L'Oreal doesn't have a loose setting powder if you have found a L'Oreal setting powder let me know in the comments I couldn't find so I have searched on their website as well and they don't have one let's take some powder oh yeah, the foundation creased just a little bit and I'm going to blend it. I don't have the cakiness that I had before. Now let's go in with the powder. My face makeup is not very sticky, so I'm not gonna use a lot of powder. With just a light layer, everything is set. I'm loving that. I'm blending very lightly the creases of the concealer, also on the eyelid. And then with a smaller brush, I'm setting with the same powder. My skin doesn't look dry i also don't have any patchiness and let's continue with some bronzer i'm gonna be using the back to bronze gentle matte bronzing powder this is in the shade 2 sun kiss it has a beautiful palm leaf imprint cute i'm taking an angle face brush and the bronzer and i'm going to bronze and give some color to my face now this bronzer is very blendable it gives a semi-matte finish it's not completely matte also not satin you can also build up the intensity of the color my hair today are super white for a blush i'm gonna be using the melon dollar baby and uh, this is the skin awakening blush in the shade 3 watermelon addict and we have a super beautiful stamp of a watermelon it is adorable okay it is scentless i have tried to see if it has a melon scent it doesn't with the same brush i'm taking the blush and then now i'm adding some on the highest point of my cheeks this is a beautiful corally shade it has a very light golden sheen that you don't see so much on the face but you can see in the packaging let me swatch it 
Yeah, even in the swatches you don't see the sheen. And let's go now to a new product by L'Oreal. Well, it is at least for me. And this is the Light from Paradise highlighter in the shade 1 Iconic Glow. It contains 64% natural origin ingredients. I'm taking a fluffy brush now. Let's use it. Oh, I don't see a lot. Is this not a highlighter? It says highlighting powder. Maybe it's not a highlighter. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't swatch it. Oh. No, I think it is a highlighter because it gives a light pink sheen. It is super dry and not so noticeable. It gives a very, very light color of pink. It is like iridescent. I thought it was gonna be a light pink color like what you see here. don't think it's gonna look nice on a lot of skin tones because it is a little bit whitish if you can see that on my nose especially. So after five layers of the highlighter it is finally visible on me. It looks very soft but it was not what I was expecting. For the brows I'm gonna be using these two products. This is the Plump and Set Brow Artist. It is a transparent brow gel and to give some color to the brows I'm gonna use the Skinny Definer Brow Artist in the shade 105 Brunette. This was in an advent calendar so I didn't choose the color. I have swatched it and I think it can match my brow hair. Let's see. And I'm going to clean just a little bit the brow hair. Let's start with the brow pencil. It is a twistable and also we have a spoolie on the other side. And oops, I need also the spoolie. I'm brushing a little bit downwards to see my arch better. Okay, the color is a tiny bit warmer for me but it's gonna look fine with my highlights. It has a creamy consistency. It reminds me the Essence Precise Brow Pencil. Micro precise. I'm using my little finger to stabilize my hand. The spoolie is blending very nicely the product. It's very creamy so you can blend it but also it's not slippery so you have the coverage to fill in any blank areas. Now I'm taking the brow gel and I have tried this again. It dries fast so I need to be fast. I'm adding some more on the inner part. It has a very lightweight formula. I don't feel it on the brows and as you can see I made a mess here so I'm gonna clean up the upper part of the brow. But first I'm going to let it set for a few minutes and continue with the other brow. This is my difficult brow because I have more sparse areas. I'm gonna try to use less product than what I did on the other eye. And then I'm taking the brow gel, the brow artist. I hope it makes some good art on my brows. The spool of this brow gel is a little bit harsh and I don't have much control to shape the brow hair however I want. I'm trying my best to brush my brow hair upwards. Okay, let's hope it stays like this. I'm taking my watermelon fan. This was from a limited edition collection by Essence, I think two years ago. I have added some more brow pencil on this because it was looking terrible. I like that the brow gel is very soft on the brows but it mixes a lot with the brow pencil and it makes it very messy. I'm gonna clean the edges with the infallible concealer. I prefer this one because it has more coverage. With an angle brush I'm going to clean especially this part. It looks like a glue and it is peeling off of the skin. Okay, let's clean this area. Now I'm gonna set the concealer with some powder, the same setting powder. I have used again this brow gel by L'Oreal. I think the issue is that the brow pencil is very creamy. That's why I made such a mess. The other times I didn't have this issue. For the eyes I have here some cream eyeshadows, also some single eyeshadows that I have never tried before and I don't know how are gonna work on my eyes. I'm gonna start with the cream eyeshadows and this one here is in the shade for Timeless Top and I want to use this as my crease color. I'm gonna take some with my spatula here. I'm adding this on the back of my hand and I'm taking here a round fluffy brush. This is by Zoeva, the 2 to 1 brush. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit 
Now I'm taking the eyeshadow. I'm going in the crease area. I'm trying to blend it exactly in the same way that I'm using powder eyeshadows. I think it blends very nicely. I'm taking some more. Now let's go to the other eye. You can also use this all over the eyelid but I want to use the shimmery eyeshadows and you can definitely build up the intensity. It looks super soft. This eyeshadow worked very nicely. I'm very surprised and happy. Now I have two shimmery eyeshadows and I'm very torn because they look amazing in the swatches. This one here is in the shade 2 Pink Quartz and we have a beautiful light pink shade. It is so gorgeous. Now I'm taking the shade 7 Vibrant Beige. I'm using spatulas always for my cream products so I don't transfer any bacteria. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm gonna take the light pink eyeshadow and I'm going to use it on the outer half of my eyes. It's not really transferring. <laughs> that's disappointing. I took some more product because I thought maybe it is dry on the surface and now I'm gonna add some with my fingertip. It's very soft, it doesn't do much. I'm gonna add some on the other eye just to have the same eyes. I don't see the pink sheen <laughs> that they promised in the swatches. <laughs> I'm hoping the other shade is gonna look better. I'm taking the light champagne eyeshadow now. Ooh, it looks so much better. And I'm going to cover the pink one since it's not noticeable. I'm taking a smaller round brush. This eyeshadow is a little bit drier. Am I doing something wrong? I'm not sure. Let's see with a fingertip. I'm not loving this eye look. Both of these can be also used as cream highlighters. Maybe that way I can see the beautiful sheen. Let's continue with the single eyeshadows. And I'm taking now the oil eyeshadow in the shade Queen. And with a fluffy eyeshadow brush, I'm taking it and I'm going to apply it all over the eyelid. It doesn't look soft at all. Maybe it's because of the cream eyeshadows. This eye look is turning into a disaster. Then I'm taking this beautiful delicious chocolatey eyeshadow. It is an oil eyeshadow in the shade Commander. I'm adding this on the outer eyelid. This looks super beautiful. It is a very very creamy eyeshadow. It looks very soft on the eyes. With a smaller brush I'm taking this chocolatey and delicious eyeshadow and I'm adding this on the outer lower eye. It has very nice intensity and it is very blendable. You can also build up the intensity. Even though it is such a dark color, I don't have to use another eyeshadow to blend the edges. I want to add some more definition in the outer crease and I'm taking my bronzer and this way I'm also setting the cream eyeshadow that I applied in the crease. For eyeliner I have a new eyeliner product. This one is the Flash Cut Eye by Super Liner Black Eyeliner. Okay, it is a black eyeliner and I have here another one that I have tried by L'Oreal and I really like. This is the Perfect Slim by Super Liner again in the shade 1 Intense Black and this one has a sponge tip applicator. The other one that I'm gonna I try today with this scientific cup here. This one has a brush tip applicator. I'm taking the flash cut eye eyeliner. I'm starting on the center of the eye. I'm going very close to the roots of the lashes. I'm doing the same on the other eye. Again very very close and I want to create a very thin line here. Let's go now to the other eye and this time I want to create the angle of the tail. So I'm looking straight into the mirror and I'm going to extend the lower lash line basically like this. Then let's go to the other eye. I think they're the same. After that I'm going to connect the lines and, and I'm trying to create a triangle. Let's zoom you in. Again I'm gonna try to create a triangle. This is a little bit more upwards. It's not a lot so I'm gonna keep it like this. I'm filling in the triangle now. Oh no, I closed my eye. I'm gonna let it dry completely and then I hope I can remove it with just 
a q-tip now i'm going to draw the line in the inner part of the eye okay that looks nice and i'm able to create a very fine line with this eyeliner i like the brush tip applicator a lot it's not pulling while I'm creating the line. It has a very nice saturation of color. I have also swatched it on the back of my hand. I think it is a little bit shiny. On the eyes, it doesn't look bad though. So I'm gonna wait for a few minutes for this part here to completely dry. Moment of truth, I'm here with the Q-tip. Okay, so it stains a little bit the skin. I'm gonna fix this off camera and I will see you in a few seconds. <laughs> I like the intensity of this product. Also, the brush tip applicator works very nicely. However, I think this is not a beginner friendly eyeliner product because it is staining the skin. A very easy product to use is the Catrice Liquid Liner in the shade Dating Joe Black because that one is not staining the skin. If you make any mistakes, you take the q-tip you clean it and it looks fine before we continue with mascara my husband has made me hot chocolate and i'm going to drink it from the hot chocolate weather mug this is one of my merch products and you can still buy it i'm going to have a link in the description box and for mascara i'm gonna be using the new that they have the telescopic lift mascara i have tried this one again in my tiktok viral makeup video you can see the thumbnail here and also i'm gonna have a link in the description description box if you want to see more close-ups in that video i didn't use eyeliner so you can clearly see my lashes with the side of the brush oops i made a boo-boo flat side now i am adding product on the upper lashes and with the side i am combing the spool of this mascara is not bendable and i'm afraid of poking my eye that's why i had the accident before and now again with the flat side i have added a little bit more of this eyeshadow and i think i made the lower lash line very intense now i'm going to remove the lip gloss and i have applied more during the video it wasn't like that for the lips i'm going to use this too so i have here the color rich le lip liner in the shade 630 beige anew and on top of it i'm gonna apply the l'oreal well, it is everything by L'Oreal today. The Colorage Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade No Doubt. I'm taking the lip pencil. I'm going to outline and also fill in the lips. It goes very well with my t-shirt. This one is a cool tone beige lipstick. It is a pink beige. I like the combination of these. They make me look elegant. My favorites of today's video are the lip products, the lip gloss. I also like a lot of this brown eyeshadow. I bought the primer. I'm going to be doing a wear test in a shorts video. So far, my foundation creased a little bit on the forehead. And it is glowy all over the face because of the BB cover that I used. I've also tried the new Essence products. You can see my review here. 